You there, bud? Steve-o? Yo. Yep. <laughs> Speak up a little bit. First morning out. Got to walk into the stands. A little bit of a late start, but looking good, looking promising. See some tracks on the ground. We're going to lay one down today. <laughs> Get the stash ready. Been growing it all for this day. Freshly conditioned. And squirt a bunch of shit on them. Nobody knows what that is. <laughs> That's a homemade version. Alright, well let's go. Wednesday, November 27th. This is our second day out. And um, this morning we were walking into the same spot I sat yesterday. And I believe we jumped a buck. Um, it's a good sized track. It's literally five feet to my right. Um, we saw him when we were coming up. And just when I came to sit up in my, in my chair, um, there was a track coming right at the chair. And it spun around and it was really fresh. And um, it kind of bounded off the way the track went. Um, we didn't hear him, but I think that he probably heard us a far ways away and jumped and turned back around. So I was going to move down the ridge because there's a lot of tracks over there. Um, but there was four fresh sets of tracks just 20 yards to my right crossing up and down. Um, so they've been moving tonight up and down. So I'm going to set up right here where I was yesterday and just see if anything comes out of that thicket up there but um it's a good sign it's beautiful out there's no wind and um it's about 30 degrees right now so it's not too cold either but it's a good sign there's some fresh tracks and pushed one out of here on the way in but it was too dark and there's no way you could tell what we were so we'll sit tight and i feel like uh with the storm coming in this afternoon that they're probably going to be up and moving this morning so Fingers crossed. Somebody in the group just shot. It's sick. 
How big?
90. Survey says 190. Yeah, we'll go 190 now. We get him out, lift him back up. You guys want to take a picture? Just enjoying the sunset on our second to last day here. Um, it was pretty cold all day. The temperature was definitely dropping. Uh, pretty windy too, as you can probably tell. Um, we didn't see anything. We still got about 30 minutes left, but uh, overall, I mean, it wasn't a bad day. Um, the weather didn't really kick our ass or anything, so tomorrow's our last day. We're gonna get up excited and put in a good long day and uh, hopefully someone will be dragging out another deer so that's pretty much all I got and uh, hopefully tomorrow's a little better. get my things on. I'm sliding my jacket, my eye wall on. I look up and there's two does. Um, I don't know if I scared them. I might have scared Mama a little bit. She didn't blow or anything. She just kind of trotted off. Um, but they're on the move early. This is good. It's like 6.30 right now. I'm just getting everything on. I just put the tripod in the ground. I'm barely even set up at all. They're on the move early though. It's cold, man. It is cold as hell. So it's like 10 degrees right now with a bunch of wind. It feels like zero. It's cold, but they're up and moving. I just need to keep my eyes peeled. I mean, this is crazy. at a good time. The wind just died a little bit. Um, it's pretty gusty though. It's cold. Um, it 
it's still about 10 degrees. Uh, the wind's making it feel like zero. It's blowing right in my face, um, which is a good wind for the spot that I'm sitting, but it sucks to sit here like that. Um, I haven't seen anything since those two does that came in before 7 o'clock, um, right as shooting light was. Um, so it's been pretty quiet since then, but I did hear a shot about 30 minutes ago, so the deer are definitely up and moving right now. Um, I expect them to move throughout the day where it's so cold. I mean, they can't lay down for long in this, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I gotta keep the batteries in my pocket to, to keep them warm, otherwise they're gonna die. Uh, so hopefully if one comes by, it doesn't catch me off guard too bad. Um, it's just gonna take me a second to get the battery out, put it in the back of the camera, and then turn it on. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's beautiful out here, and the sun is just starting to hit, hit my left shoulder, so hopefully that warms me up a little bit, because I'm pretty cold right now, but this is what you gotta do to shoot the big deer, so you gotta get out here and put your hours in, no matter the weather, and just hunt hard, which is what we've been doing this week, so, um, yeah, almost 9 o'clock, I already seen two deer, which is good, so, keep our eyes peeled, you're not gonna hear them in this at all, I mean, you're just gonna catch movement, so, hopefully they don't catch me off guard too bad, and I'm able to get the battery in the back, and the camera on them quickly, so, and hopefully we just see something, but, it's been a good morning so far. So I was standing up and I just looked down and I saw four deer running through the woods. So I didn't, I was like, what the hell is going on? So I sat down, I grabbed my gun, and I got the camera ready. I knew they were going to come up here. And um, I turned the camera and they came right up to me about 20, 30 yards. They never saw me or anything. They just went down through the woods and it was um, a doe and it looked like doe and three. Um, and they freaking just played around in the snow out there. They just ran all around in front of me. Um, and they just took off up the hill. So that's four, that's eight deer today. Four does uh, right there. And then I believe it was the same doe and fawn earlier, but now I don't know what to think. God damn, I wish there was a buck mixed in there somewhere. But with all these does running around, there's got to be a buck on the move somewhere. So keep our eyes peeled and just pray 
something comes through. This is insane though, what a great day it's been. They're up and moving in this cold weather, so. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, I don't know what happened on the first shot. Oh, oh, oh my. Hold on. I've been watching deer to my right all day. About an hour ago, I had four does come through. And then I saw a bigger body deer walking to my left. And I pulled out the grunt and I grunted at him a few times and the wind died down at the perfect time. And that deer, I saw him pick his head up and he kept walking to the left. So I turned the camera on I was just looking down in front of me, just waiting to catch him walking through. I didn't know if it was a buck or a doe. And then I was sitting here and I just kept I was scanning the whole area and I saw him come back to the right. And earlier this morning, I saw those does come back to the right. And when they came back to the right, they ended up coming right up to me. So I figured that's what was gonna happen with this deer. And I'm sitting here, I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. I got my gun across my lap and finally, I see antlers coming up through the brush. I'm like, oh boy. And <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so pumped right now. So I see him coming up through and he's just looking right at me and I, I'm trying to get the camera on him and I, I know I got the camera in the right spot. And I pull my gun up and he was, I didn't want to take the shot because I didn't really know um, how much, like where his body was facing. It was weird, it's hard to describe. And then he walked down through and I'm just trying to get the camera on him and the nerves start going. Finally he gets down here and the camera, you'll see it's right in front of me. And I'm, I got the gun up and I'm trying to go over the camera and then I try to go under and he's just standing there sniffing. And finally I just popped all the way up over the camera with the gun. And I put the first shot right on his shoulder and I shot and he didn't move. I don't know if I, I must have hit a tree down there or something or hit a branch and it deflected. I really don't know what happened. I'm thinking I may have hit this tree because there's no more snow on it, but I freaking didn't really know what to do at first. I was like, holy crap, he didn't move. So I quickly jacked another shell in, put it same spot and dropped him. He went down and then I figured it maybe I hit him a little, I don't know. He was just crawling through the brush and I had a a good shot on his neck, so I put one right in his neck and dumped him, and 
it's pretty thick in here and I don't want to go tracking today so oh that was sloppy that was sloppy but I'm still shaking oh my god I can't believe it I can't freaking believe it we've had deer around us all morning that's a bullet right there baby My dad's here. I just pointed out the buck to him. He just walked up through the woods. He's been waiting down below for us. Let's go down and see this guy, huh? I'm so excited. This is a big deer. <laughs> He's pumping his fist. No. I'm gonna film you? No, it's okay. It's a pig. You fucking weird. You shot him right in the ass. Dude, you should have. I don't. It was so weird, man. You ruined this whole hind quarter. You're, I know, you should have seen how it went down. It was weird. I think I uh, bolt deflected or something. Is your gun unloaded? Yeah. Dude, I Did used he, all three shots. Dude, he might be 200. I know, he's a pig. He he's kind of, he's wide. His head is big. Dude. Where do you, dude, he's a fucking beast. He's a big deer, he's bigger than mine. The neck and head is definitely, he's older, for sure. Yeah, well, I saw him walking through the woods, I'm like, that's a big deer. But he was far, dude. I'm talking like next ridge over there. All right, so we're about a quarter of the way into our drag and we're just setting up to gut him, but we got out this morning and it's the last day here in Maine, the last day of rifle season. And um, we pulled up to our spot and it was 10 degrees with a 50 mile per hour northwest wind. And it felt about negative 10 degrees out here. And you know, everyone's looking at each other in the truck like, oh shit, we gotta go hunt. And um, we came out and this is what happens when you hunt hard. and. You hunt those cold days and the days that it's less than ideal and you'd rather sleep. You get out in the woods and you put in your time and it pays off with bucks like this. So we we got in the woods this morning and we saw a lot of deer today. I've never seen more than um, I saw today. We saw a doe, two does right as we got in this morning and then we saw two more a couple hours later. And then we ended up seeing four more does a few hours later than that. And then before you knew it, I caught this big body just walking up through the woods. and. Um, 
I grunted to him and he disappeared for a little while and then he ended up coming right over the ridge to me. And uh, I just, God, I couldn't be happier. I was literally so excited. I about jumped out of my chair when he came walking up and um, I just didn't know what to do. I mean, I had a couple awkward positions with the camera and I was just trying to shoot over it, around it, under it, everything in between. And I just can't believe it worked out like it did. I, I think I missed him on the first shot. He, it might've deflected off a tree or something. I'm not really sure, but the second shot um, was in his spine. And then the third shot, I was able to have some composure actually and pull one in his neck to finish him off. So I just can't believe that it worked out like it did. And second year in a row, I've gotten an 11 point and he's pretty thick. He's a butterball. He should do pretty well on the scale, I hope. Um, but yeah, I mean, last day of the season, it's cold, it's windy. It's way less than ideal. And we came out here and got it done all on film second year in a row. I couldn't be happier. And uh, I guess thank you to my dad and to Steve for coming out here. I, Steve, I kind of jacked your spot. Sorry about that. But uh, I know you'll like him, so just couldn't be happier with this buck. Yeah. Is this your first 200?